to produce gold out of sand. I'll comment that the gold is 10 times heavier than the sand, that it's truly and purely under the sand. It really is, it's not on the top. It never will be, because it's too heavy. So, this is a modern addition to, to mining. It's called a riffle. Those ridges are called riffles. Now, ruffles have ridges. That's a potato chip. <laughs> the riffles are always away from you. The, so if I held it like this, right, all the gold will wash out of the pan. So that would be silly. So if you turn it this way, at least you have a fighting chance to keep the gold in the pan. Name of the game is go down and get a big old pan of sand. And then put that pan through three steps that, that removes all the sand and leaves the gold behind. Everyone understand the general process? And let me show you physically how that occurs. Down, grab it with two hands, and, and scrape and scrape and, and come up and get yourself a big old pan of sand off the bottom. Step one is done. Step two is done under the water line, sir. Just under. This is called slushing the pan. The gold is now dropping to the bottom of this pan, and that's done. Everything occurs quickly. Step three, I go into the rinse cycle. Keeping the sand wet with water, I begin to rinse the sand out. By keeping sufficient water in the pan the entire time, I'm assured the gold should stay under the sand where I want it. I have a goal. It's two tablespoons, and I've just reached it. So a moment ago, I had a full pan. I slushed it, then I rinsed it down to the final of concentrated sand. This is where I'll get the gold. Add back a little water. Swirl the pan, gather the sand, and find the gold. I'm seeing gold. Ooh. I'm seeing gold. Here. I'm seeing a lot of gold. <laughs> Specks, oh, flakes uh, of 24 I, karat gold. I see, it's right there. This took me one minute. That's the point. Now, if I had an eyedropper, and if, I was, if this was my gold, and I was in a creek, I would suck the specks up with the eyedropper and squeeze it into my little...